and that's it there's really no feedback no homework nothing nothing as much as hey if you're gonna evolve too much there this is a hypothetical if you they're, they're thinking if this person is too much of a problem there's 20 other people behind them that may be less of a problem so they're gonna they're gonna kick they're gonna bump you they're gonna kick you out because they have so much demand uh, that pff, they are going to get paid no matter what. They're going to get patients no matter what. And they're figuring that uh, these patients might as well be easy. So uh, I've adapted myself to be easy patient. Someone that comes in there, right, doesn't really cause any issues. There's no outside issues like, uh, 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 you know, that they have to deal with. So there's, you're an easy patient. There's, there's someone that you look forward to coming because if you're coming, it means they're you're gonna easily make whatever the insurance pays them. In this case, about a hundred and eight hundred and ten dollars for uh, an easy hours worth of hearing somebody, but not putting in any. Uh, probably ninety five percent of the time, there's just no, no uh, gain, no improvement. It's just talking, and I could talk to a wall if I needed that. Right. I mean, till at least the wall's not pretending to care about me. So psychiatrists are like this, the same. Right. They they fill in. And, and this is what's hurting people. Right. This is what's hurting society. There's a lot of people that are suffering out there with uh, uh, what I call. Uh, I call it like a. Um, uh, very uh, acute. It's it's sort of like akathisia, right? When you're you're very highly stimulated, uh, anxious, uh, would be like akathisia, where it's very uncomfortable, right? Whatever's bothering you, whatever 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 fear you're facing, whatever like uh, uh, situation you're in, it, you know the ruminating thoughts, the 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 things that bother you, right? That you can't help. Um, that that repeat. Those are the type of people that are suffering the most, because people that are in crisis, people that need help, because they want somebody to care about them. They want to feel like they're valued as far as a person. They're not getting that because it's not set up that way. It's set up as a, a business. It's a business, and the sooner you you realize that it's a business the more you'll understand that when you get somebody that is uh, a good listener and cares about you and is willing to troubleshoot things in your life to help you make cope or make things better in your life, those are the needles in the haystack. And those are the thing people to appreciate. But a majority are not like that. And the reason is, is because this industry has become diluted. There's a lot of therapists and psychiatrists with uh, um, uh, way more patience than uh, than they so a lot of therapists and psychiatrists have gone into private practices where they're not accepting insurance because they'd rather not deal with insurance companies um those people uh you know you have to understand that when someone's paying out of their pocket full price there's there there is bound to be some difference in quality um, the reason is is that the the uh, the uh, physician or the the therapist or psychologist is uh, getting the all the money they want out of the visit that they're charging, which makes them more apt to appreciate their patients. Um, this is different with insurance companies. Uh, these uh, physicians and and uh, psychologists become more resentful to their patients and uh, treat their patients sort of like scum. Um, it is true. Um, I could name a lot of names that many people can concur with, but this is not about naming names. People come and go. People come into industries and leave industries. They either help people or they don't. But the whole the whole point of this whole video is that uh, you know you have to understand that real help exists with people that care about you that aren't getting paid. That's just the bottom line is finding connections, social connections with people that are going to be and help you. But at the same time, you have to understand that you have to put in work, too. 
right? You can't just be going over and over and over again the same issue and, and making the pe person who's trying to help you, the person that's trying to help you for free, a great friend. Because at the end of the day, we have friends and family. Everybody else just doesn't matter. They're just, they're, they're just outside of our lives. Uh, they're getting, they're getting paid. That's just the way it is. So social connections, that's the only way. It's the only way. It's you're not going to get fifty uh, anywhere with a person seeing you for fifteen minutes a, a month, and you're not going to get anywhere with someone seeing you for an hour a week. It's just not going to happen. So you know whether you believe it or not, time is time, and time is proportioning into what you put th put your heart into. Things you put more time into, you put your heart more into it. It's like anything. If you want a beautiful garden, you got to really put your mind into it and design it and make sure it's it's as perfect as you want it to be how you see it, how you see beauty. But in the real in the real world, that's not how it is. We're on other people's time where we're scheduled around their time and then other people are scheduled around our time when we make schedules like that. But friends aren't like that. Real true friends, they'll 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 talk to you any chance they get. They if they're on their break at work or when they get off work, but it will be it will be a uh, uh, you know something that you can't pay for. You it's something that's given to you by somebody, a generosity, a generous heart. So that's how you get help. You know, I've you you could there's people that have lost de decades of their life believe, believing in the system, and the system has failed many people, right? And and the system has made us believe that we need it as, but it's not that it's not true like that. It, what's true is we need each other. The only way we're gonna get apart from the system is if we we separate ourselves from the system. And and in order to do that, we need to love each other more, and we need to be more cognizant it human beings when it comes to feelings and listening we need to be able to repeat what people told us because that then we're we're verifying that we care once they hear that we've recited what they said it's important to them so that's all i have to say tonight you all have a great day bye, -bye.